Journey to Lo Man Tang, Upper Mustang, Nepal. Village of Kagbang, Gateway to the Upper Mustang. I'm here with my good friend Ram and we're on our way up to the Upper Mustang. We're in Keg Benny. Now behind us you can see that's the uh, Upper Mustang Valley that we're going yeah. to be heading up to. Yes. And uh, where are we heading to first? We are going to Chile but you know there are little villages in, in between. Uh -huh. So we'll stop anywhere there. Any, any one of those you can stop for tea. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But we're going to Chile. Chile, Chile tonight. That, that's where we'll spend the night. Yes, okay. but in the middle there is a Tsuksang where we may we may be having lunch today. Okay, yeah. yeah. Now how many hours is it uh, from here to uh, Chile? Oh, it's definitely six hours. Okay, all right. And what's the altitude uh, right here in, in uh, Kagbani? Oh, Kagbani is 2,900 meters. 2,900 meters. Yeah. So, and we took a Jeep up here, so we're starting at a fairly a high. high yes. Yeah. And but the, the other one is not that high. It's a uh, 3,200 or something meters. Oh, so it's just a... It's just a gradual uphill. Okay. All right. So it's, it's uh, altitude-wise, it's not that bad. Okay. Yeah. Good, good, good. All right. Thank you very much, Randy. Thank you, very Good. Look at this view. Isn't that something? Kind of reminds me of the badlands of Alberta with all the erosion. It's cool here this morning. We're in the shade. We'll be in the sun here in a few minutes, so I'll start shedding some of my warm clothing. But what a beautiful day. Ram. Okay, we've been we've been marching here now for what about three and a half three and hours? And, a half. Yeah. and we stopped in this nice little village, had a cup of tea. Uh, what's the name of this village? Tangbe. Tangbe. Yeah, the Tang village is called Tangbe. Tangbe. And now we're heading for our lunch stop. Yes, it is another hour from here, a bit less than an hour, and that is called Chusang. Ch Chusang. Chusang. Such easy words. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we just finished having our lunch and it was really good. I yeah. had uh, egg fried rice. Yeah, I had dalba. Dalba. <laughs> oh, uh, remind me, what was the name of this village again? Tusang. Uh, Tusang. This is Tusang we had lunch. Okay, yeah. And now we're heading for our night stop. Yes, that is in Chile. You can Chile. see in the background. Ah. And just a bit, like a, an hour and a half, a maximum an hour and a half. Right behind us there. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, we're at the uh, Mustang Gate. Yeah. In Chile. Yeah, <laughs> Mustang Gate in Chile. Okay. And this is the only guest house which is open, they said, but we still have to check it out. Okay. Because this is the off season, so there are not many tea houses open. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because people go down to the warmer, mm -hmm. you know, places and they come back in the warm temperature. Oh, yes, okay. This yeah. is still winter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is just 19th February, so people started coming back, but today it is open, I think. Okay, yeah. that's great. It's morning here in uh, Chile in the Upper Mustang. Just having our breakfast. Beautiful night here last night. Nice and quiet. I usually start my day off 
with a nice cup of black tea. This morning I'm having a cheese omelet and I put that on a Tibetan bread. And this is almost like eating a donut. It's really delicious. I love this. I have this every day. Or not every day, but mostly every day. It gives me my protein and my carbs. But anyways, when you come here, make sure you stop and look around because this is a fascinating, fascinating place. Thank you. Good morning. We just left the village of Chile. We had a beautiful night there. Nice and quiet. Lots to eat. We're well rested. So where are we heading today, Ram? We are first heading, heading to Samar. Samar. And Sangboje. Oh, that's our night, night spot. Yes, okay. yes, yes. And that's what, roughly, what, six, seven hours from here? Yes, six, seven hours. And that, uh, does that include lunch or no? Uh, no, 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 no. Lunch is different. J this is just six, so, seven hours six, hiking. Six, seven hours of hike, yeah. And then we stop for lunch. Yeah. And uh, tea would be at one of those previous yeah, first, villages. Let's stop in the first one after two and a half hours, mm -hmm. Samar. It's a beautiful village. Yeah. We can have a rest there and have a tea. Have a tea. Enjoy the view there and yeah. for, go further on. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That uh, sounds like a plan. Yeah. I just wanted to say the, the trail coming up here is mainly road, which is easy to walk on. But if you go off the road onto the old trail, which doesn't seem to be used very much, it's very, I'll call it slippery, a lot of loose rocks and stuff. So be careful of that when you come here. Okay. Thank you very much, Randy. Thank you. What, what barren landscape here. My goodness. Ram, this is a beautiful area. What's the name of this village just below us here? Oh yes, this village is called Gakar. Gakar? And uh, you see the trail to go over there. Over there is a uh, what do you call suspension that? Suspension bridge. bridge right over there. Yes. And uh, they're building the road, of course, that way too. But the thing is that uh, we used to hike from you know that uh, bridge and underneath this landslide mm -hmm. and go to Samar previously. But uh, now they have built the road, so we walked on the road and walking on this uh, landslide and this, uh, you know, this area is not, not possible anymore. Okay. Because the, you know, while they built this road, it's all collapsed, mm -hmm. so there is no more trail. I see. But yeah. it used to be, it used to be from down there. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's why we had to walk this long uphill now. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. We're yeah. getting beautiful views. It is, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Look at that Tilicha mountain and the Nilgiri over there. The first one is Nilgiri. Second one, the big one is Tilicho, and you go for, you know, Annapurna 3, you go to that uh, uh, Thorang Peak also. So, all beautiful. All beautiful. Thank you, Ram. Oh, a beautiful day. It's uh, pretty clear. The wind's starting to pick up now. So we're getting a bit of dust. Deep ridge, and here's some of the view we got from this pass. We'll be getting on that road. Rand says there's a tea house along there we can stop for lunch, but these are prayer flags at the pass. This is common, uh, Tibet and in Nepal.
Hey Ram, what's the village we're coming up into now? Shangboche. Shangboche? Yeah. Well, we finally reached our uh, launch village. Shangboche. Shangboche. Uh, 3.30 in the afternoon. I think yeah, a just a tad late. Yeah, exactly, 3.30. Yeah. It took us a little more than seven hours yeah. to get here. Yeah. And you know the trail was this way. Oh, zigzag and back and forth. Taking yeah. too much time. Yeah. Okay. Good morning. We're just leaving the village of Sangboche. And we had a lovely time here. My goodness, they serve such great food and mm -hmm. good tea and good company. It was just really nice. Anyways, we're, uh, we have a fairly good day today, don't we, Ram? Oh, it is. Oh, no clouds in the sky. Oh, it's just beautiful. <laughs> so, it's uh, so, great. so where are we heading to? to uh... Today we are going to Gami. 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 It's, uh, yeah, it's a gentle uphill and gentle downhill, but we are going to cross that 4,200 meters hill mm -hmm. and we'll go down to Gami. Okay, yeah. yeah. And our first stop will be for tea. Uh, uh, it's in Giling. Giling. Giling, it is 45 minutes to one hour from here. Oh, but one hour from here. Yeah. Now. Okay. Yeah. That'll be great. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so far, the, it's been an excellent track. It's the terrain. You just can't believe the terrain here. It's oh. like you're in the White Cap Mountains, plus you're in the desert. And uh, a lot of the terrain looks like, oh, the outback of Australia and the Grand Canyon and everything mixed into one. Yeah. I highly recommend people coming here. Anyways, uh, I'll talk to you later. Hey, Ram, we just come up over this ridge here. Uh, What's this? That uh, down there. Wait, that one? Yes. Uh, that is Giling. Oh, Giling. Yeah. Uh, that's where we're for, going for tea. Yes, yes. We just go there, have a tea. We stop here for a while. Yeah. That's a beautiful village we walk by. Yeah. And we go to that hill to pass that, you know, far, far away. That's oh, yeah. So up that pathway. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is going to be great. This is, that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's 12.30. We stopped down in the village down here and had a cup of tea and some cookies. And now we got a, we're doing a bit, a bit of a hill climb here. Yeah. This uh, pass that's behind us here. Now, and what do you think it's going to take us to get up there? Uh, At the pace that we're walking. We're walking 30 pretty, minutes to 45 minutes. Okay, because we're walking a pretty, pretty slow pace. Yeah. No, but everybody's feeling good. Uh, the clouds are rolling in here, which has got the day a little cooler, which is nice. It was much better when you hike it, right? But, uh, anyways, we're gonna head up the hill. By the way, this place is called Choite. 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 Yes, we came from Giling. This Giling. is Choite. And now we cross and go to Gami. Gami. Okay. okay. That's where we're uh, spending camping. the night. Yes. Okay. Thank yes. you, Rand. Thank you. Oh my God, Ram! <laughs> Was that an unbelievable trek today? It's walking in the moon. <laughs> oh, it is. It's like walking in the moon. I just can't believe the terrain around here is just unbelievable. Yeah. Oh God. Anyway, what's this village here we're coming? It is called Gami. Gami. Yeah, and it's a beautiful village. Yes. Oh, we had a beautiful view from up there when yeah. we were coming down. Now we're spending the night here, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I. I hear they have a beautiful hotel down here that we are around. Uh, all the tea houses are beautiful. Okay, good. <laughs> good, we don't yeah. have to take a chance. No, we don't have to. <laughs> all right, okay, thank you, Rand. Thank you. Another beautiful morning here in the Upper Mustang. 
We're leaving the village of Game, right? Yeah, yeah. I indeed. pronounced it okay? <laughs> yeah, you pronounced it right. <laughs> I must be getting better. <laughs> anyway, uh, where are we heading to today, Ram? Today we are going to Charang. Charang. Charang, yes. Now, about how many hours will uh, that take? It's one uphill and slightly down, so it's uh, three hours to four hours, let's say. Three to four hours. Yes. Is there any place to stop to have a tea? No, or? no. no There's nothing else. Nothing else. So Just we'll get there and have our... Lunch, lunch, tea, tea, break, whatever you say. Yeah, okay, that's good. <laughs> All right, thank you, Ray. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful morning. Fantastic landscape. Oh, she's a long hill here. And the thing is, uh, <laughs> the scenery is so great that it's hard to keep walking without stopping to take a photo or something. But we'll be at the pass here in about, I'm thinking 15, 20 minutes maybe. Now this is the road that we came in on. Travels down here, across that little bridge, and up here. And here's the gate. Yeah, this is the entryway to Lomantang. A beautiful gate, welcoming all the visitors. Doing a little walk around the village. See that glass sticking out of the concrete? That'll keep you from crawling over that wall. Right back where we started. Mm -hmm. Off in that distant ridge, there is a monastery. Yeah, there it is. Oh, beautiful. Now, if I walk straight in this direction, up over that ridge, down the other side, I'd be heading towards the border with Tibet. 
Now here's a beautiful view of another section of Lo Mantang. Very quiet down there. You can hear the river running through though. Good morning from Lo Mantang. This is our last day here and it's a beautiful morning. And where are we heading to this morning, Ram? We are going to Zhong Cave in Chosar. Zhong Cave. In Chosar. But we call it Chosar Cave anyway. Okay. Yeah. It, they're not famous for like a, a monk or something uh, no, meditating it, there. Not like, really. It's like a, some it's, of the caves we've been to. Yeah, some of the caves there, monks are still living, doing meditation things. But this cave, it's uh, it's more like a preserved, like a, uh, that we go and look. T to see how people yes, live back yes, in those yes, caves. Yeah. Okay, all right. Thank you, Ram. Unbelievable, isn't it, Ram? Looks like we are in the moon. It does. Yeah. Unbelievable. Last time when I was in the moon, it was similar like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except for I think there's a little more oxygen here. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, true. true. <laughs> You're right, yeah. <laughs> what a bare spot. Good job. Hard to believe people can make a living up here. Hello from Chosar. Well, we walked here, it didn't take that long. What's it been right. about? Uh, it's two, just uh, two and a half hours. Two and a half hours to get up here. And behind us, I don't know if you can see it or not, but those are the caves we came up to see. Now, Ram, I know this probably might be a hard question, but how long do you think these caves have been here? Uh, some people say 3,000 years old. Some people say 6,000 years old. But as per my understanding, it must be 6,000 years old. They've been here a long time. Yeah, they've yeah. been here for a long time. Yeah. Now, it looks like there's people living in these caves. <laughs> yes, these caves, we are not going into that caves because this is it's still private. People still live there. There's people living in these caves. Yeah, they, they say that it's warm inside the cave. Oh, so yeah, in the yeah. winter time, they live there and they store things in the cave. Yeah. So this, this area, you see that uh, the buildings are Attached oh, yes. to the you know caves. Yeah. But we are going to the one which is open for us, that mm -hmm. is preserved to show us. Okay. Which is just behind that rock. Okay. And that's the one that has a little museum in it too. Oh yeah, it? yeah, kind of yeah. Kind of a museum. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we go into that cave anyway. Yeah. We go to all those rooms and explore this. Uh, okay. Yeah. Thank you, Ram. Thank you. Okay, we're at the entrance to Yong Cave. Now that road behind me, the one that goes up that way, that'll take you up to the uh, Tibetan border, or as the Chinese like to call it, the Chinese border. And this road down here, this is going to take us to the cave. So we, we should be down there in just a few minutes. That looks like they're building a new hotel or something up here. Taking advantage of uh, tourists coming up here to visit these caves. see behind me those those like fortresses on top of that ridge actually there's fortresses all around here and only God knows how old they are wow look at that canyon <laughs> amazing Looks like this is going to be a low light situation. Stairs. Going up there. We are in the caves. That's outdoors, of course. Uh, this looks like it was a living quarters. These people must have been really small because it's really a low ceiling here. I'm gonna walk back here. I do that little bang on my head. I'll be good. And there's some more living quarters. I think the 
So through here. And uh, looks like some living quarters there, but can't see it's too dark. I didn't bring my lamp, so I can't see a lot of things. And here's some more living quarters. And there's some steps going up there. Yeah, pretty cool. Huh. I can't do these. Oh. It's pretty tight. Yeah, it is. That's these cool. must have been really small people. Yeah, a long time ago. People yeah. were short, you know? Yeah. Yeah. There's all the living quarters here. I know this is low light, but it's the best I can do without my light. It looks like there's about four or five different living quarters down this tunnel. Now that area there, look, it's, uh, it's been bricked in. Maybe this is part of like a fortress or something, I'm not sure. And that goes up to a window. Yeah, I mean, it's a fairly large room here. I would say it's their community room. And probably we were there to all sit around in a circle. They had a fire in the middle where they would discuss what they were going to do or their plans. And the uh, ceiling, you can see the black from the uh, soot from a fire that was going on in here, but most likely this was a community room. And you could imagine, you know, three to 6,000 years ago, them sitting in here discussing, you know, food and enemies and religion and things like that. It would be just fascinating. A person go back in time just to see how they lived. And that's the way we came up. Yeah, it's pretty interesting stuff. You know, when you think back, this could be as much as 6,000, well, who knows? It could be far older than that. These are the windows from those caves. I would imagine there was probably, oh, I don't know, maybe a hundred or so people living in that area. And here's the view from the cave. Now this would have been looking a little different uh, several thousand years ago, but probably not that much different. Okay, we're heading back down. The final little climb into uh, Lone Man Tang. Yeah. It was a beautiful day yeah. visiting the caves. This is the Everest Guest House where, where we've been staying here now for about three days, I guess. <sighs> Good morning from Lone Man Tang. Kingdom of Lo. Kingdom of Lo. Uh, Ram, could you explain the way our permit works? Oh yeah, we, we have 10 days permit inside this Upper Mustang restricted area. And uh, we have already used our 9 days here. Mm -hmm. We only have 1 day left. 1 day left. Because we normally we get 10 days permit, that's what we got. But we, you can actually get it for longer time also, but you just have to add another $50 per day. Anyway, we got 10 days permit, so okay. we need to get out from this area today. Okay. Yeah, like we chose to uh, hike in, which took us about uh, five, five days. days. Yeah. And that gave us another uh, four days in here that we could spend exploring the area. And we're going to be taking a Jeep out. And that's your option. You can hike in and spend a day or two, and then hike out. Or you can hike in and spend four days like we did and take the Jeep out. So anyways, this will be the end of our... Uh, our uh, Upper Mustang video, and uh, thank you for watching. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>